Hello! In this video I'm going to show you how I defeated the Batasaurus Rex using this uh, stiff unkempt herald, though you could use any gun. And I had the bee shield, but you don't need that either. You could really use any gun and any shield, any any way you want to do it, um, because the technique that I discovered um, was... it had nothing to do with guns. So the video that I had seen, a couple videos that I saw, um, they said to stand by here, though the one video I saw didn't have the uh, door halfway down like this, so I had to figure something else out. But everyone says the bullets def uh, deflect, uh, so you're supposed to use explosives. That's why I started to use this gun. But then I realized you could use any gun. You can use, um, you know, submachine, assault. You can, it can be uh, corrosive, shock, doesn't matter. They will all deflect. All the bullets will be deflected. So what I've discovered to do is stay behind this little corner wall here. Right now I'm coming out to sort of lure uh, the Batasaurus Rex closer to me because the closer he is, uh, the more damage my Unkempt Herald will do. So I'm trying to get him to come over here. So now, now he's coming over. Now he's coming closer. So now I will stake my position. I will crouch down so I can aim through this little crack here. And these bullets do get deflected. But the great thing about this gun, so you can use any gun, but I recommend using a gun that has these slow firing bullets, is that it gives you time to shoot and then duck behind the wall before they deflect at you. And I just keep doing this. I get a little overzealous at one point, and I try to shoot a bunch of rounds before hiding behind the wall. You can see I'm shooting one, two, right there, and then I hide. But sometimes I go three. I try to do three, and it's just a little too much because the first round's already coming back. You can see the explosions, not just uh, when my bullets miss the Batasaurus Rex and hit the wall. You can see the explosions from the bullets coming back. Um, and it took me a while to notice that that was happening. I thought he was shooting me with his own guns. So just take your time. Shoot through here. You can use any gun, but if the bullets fly slower, it gives you time to duck behind this wall. This corner here. And I'll fast forward the rest, so we can get through it. Cool, now I defeated him. I should also mention, if you saw in the fast forwarding, that I was uh, releasing my turret randomly. Um, I had my uh, my skill tree set, so when my uh, turret is deployed, I deal more damage. So I was deploying it just off to the side so I could deal more damage to make it go faster. Um, but now that I am here to destroy uh, Piston, I do the same thing. 
I just hang back here. And I'll switch to a shock weapon, which is an old infinity. I haven't gotten a new infinity. But that's a level 49. It, but it does its trick. It does the trick. And I actually can hit him rather than hitting the wall. It does the trick with my level 65 or 66 blue shield. And my turret is going after him and slagging him. You gotta use slag when you're in ultimate Vault Hunter mode because enemies are much more difficult to wound if they are not slagged. I always carry a slag weapon of some sort with me. As I play it, I shoot them down with the slag, get them covered, and then use the scroll wheel on my mouse to go ahead and shoot them with the next gun. And that seems to work for me. But that was quick. I had no idea I would kill Piston that fast. Um, yeah. Once I discovered that this would be a technique to hide behind the corner, uh, I had just died, so I started recording during my next pass. And it worked, and it was even better on Piston. So hope that helps, and I hope you guys can do that too. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.